Hey everybody, AJ with AJ's Vintage Designs here with a video that I don't normally do. Now, the uh, company Casa Brews contacted me because they had seen in my videos how much I, I rely on coffee. I talk about coffee a lot. I do Facebook Lives on a regular basis and I've always got a cup of coffee in my hand or have just had some coffee or I talk about coffee. Coffee is like my addiction. So they asked me if they can send me one of their machines. They're, this is the 5700 Gents, G-E-N-S-E. -E. It is like the Mac Daddy of espresso machines. So when they asked me to, if they could send me one of these to review, I was like, of course, I was excited. They sent it to me. I had to leave to Vegas for a business trip for a week and I'm just getting to try it. I got back yesterday and first thing I'm going to do is make myself a cup of coffee. Now I haven't used this machine before. This is my first time. I have run water through it uh, just to make sure everything was clean so I did run water through it. First thing you're going to want to do is turn on your machine and have it preheat. The lights will flash for about two minutes and then when it stops flashing you know it's it's ready to go. But let me tell you about some of the accessories that come with it. Now first of all, you have your um, coffee hopper, so you can put whole bean coffee in there. Now they do recommend not to get the ones that kind of have that oily uh, residue that's on the beans because it is hard on your grinder. Um, so they do recommend, they had said Lavazza, which I actually got mine at my local Kroger store and um, they didn't have the whole beans, they just had the ground. But you can use that with this too, you just, that just means you're not having to grind your coffee. So I did get the brand that they recommended and then I got another one that is whole beans so I could try the grinder. Now the accessories that come with it, you have your stamper, this is what presses, I'll do it in order. You have your portafilter here and you probably recognize these from going to your local coffee shop. Your portafilter, it comes with two filters that go in it. Now one is for a single cup espresso and one is for a double cup espresso. Now you can see the difference. Here's the double. See the screen is bigger. Here's the single. It's smaller. So you have your choice. Now I'm oh, if less is always more or more is always better for me. So I'm always going to have my double cup in here. I'm just going to always be using that one. But who knows? I might have guests that prefer a single single cup. So that goes in your portafilter. These are heavy duty. This feels like a commercially made system, but I get to use it in my home. I'm going to be saving so much money. I take one to two trips to my local coffee shop every day, seven days a week, and I've done it for years. So this is actually going to be saving me some money. So and the quality of the components, like I said, this is the stamper. This is what pushes your grinds and pushes them in there and gets them compact. This weighs almost a pound. I put it on my little, um, my mailing scale and it actually is 14 ounces. So when you expect, you know, I was in my mind thinking it's a home base espresso machine and probably be plastic and metal. No, this is stainless steel and it is heavy. It's 14 ounces. Now, then you have a leveler. I'm not sure if that's what they call it, but that's also when you grind your coffee, you set this on there and you spin it. It helps smooth it out before you stamp it. So you have that as an accessory. This I put on the scale and it is a full pound. This is a full pound. So, I mean, these are quality made accessories. Now, when, if, if you purchase this and you were wondering what this extra component is, it's not in instructions, they actually send you a second grinder. So if you ever have any issues, like I know with my last coffee machine, I would use water to clean out my hopper, which I didn't know was a bad thing. Um, and my grinder actually went out on my previous machine. And so um, you do, when you clean out your hopper, you don't put water in it. Don't get uh, moisture in there and then put coffee beans because then your grinds, uh, when it grinds the coffee, that water is gonna make those grinds stick in the components. So they, they actually send a replacement one if you ever need it. You may never need it, but how many companies actually do that? So you have a second grinder. So if you buy this kit and you're like, what the heck is this extra piece in there? It's not in the instructions. It's just a replacement grinder. I figured that out because um, it, it, see these numbers down here? The grinder actually has uh, 15 settings on here. So 15 levels of grinding. They recommend staying between an eight and a 10. Once you find the grinding level you like, the taste and everything, just leave it at that. But it's the same as right here. And I have mine set to an eight because that's what's recommended when you're starting off. So I have mine at eight. You get a little pad here. This is for holding your stamper and you can put it on your countertop and then when you are stamping your portafilter, you're doing it on a mat and you're not gonna scratch your countertops, which is great. I'll set mine right here, put that there. Okay, 
So I'm a little nervous. I've never done this before. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to grind my coffee. I have it set to, like I said, an eight here. My machine is no longer flashing, so I know it's preheated. The water tank in the back actually holds 91 ounces of water. Then I'm not having to worry about filling it up all the time. I just fill it up and I'm good for several days. Okay, so I'm going to put it in here and I'm just gonna slide this in. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you in close. So I'm gonna take this out right up here so see how it's mounted on the top that's what this little tool is for you set this on there and you spin it that is going to level off your coffee but that's not enough then we want to stamp it now you can use the pad down there to do it but I'm gonna show it to you close up I'm gonna put this down and you want to compact that compact that coffee down you want a nice and compact so that water is forced to go through there I'm gonna lock this in. Okay, got it locked in, nice and secure. Put my coffee cup, put my coffee cup underneath. Like I said, my first cup of coffee. So if it's this, e if I am successful and it's this easy for me, anybody can do it. Now here's the, the gauge. This has a 20 bar measuring gauge here and there is a blue line. So it's self-explanatory. You want to keep it within that blue line. That all depends on how well you compacted your coffee. If you didn't compact it, pack it enough, then it might not move very much. So hopefully I compacted mine enough. I'm going to pick double cup. Let's see what it does. easy look at that yummy coffee in there next thing you want to do is turn your um, steamer I'm going to uh, steam my milk you want to turn your steamer on to preheat you want to turn it on to pre preheat and the light is going to be flashing over here so you're gonna wait until that that light stops flashing while it's heating up I'm just going to fill up I'm gonna be using almond milk so I'm just gonna fill up to the amount of milk that I need has a little measuring on the outside. Okay, use up all the milk I got. Okay, the light is on now. And I'm gonna turn it up to the max. And we're gonna let it start steaming. You hear that noise? Turn that off. Okay, they say once it's so hot that you can't hold on to the container, it's good. And I'm gonna pour this over my coffee. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. I'm gonna get a spoon so I can get that froth off the top. You wanna make sure that you clean your milk steamer every time. And you can also shoot some steam through it. Okay, I'm gonna get the last of that little froth off the top. There we go, all that goodness, all that froth. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try my first ever homemade espresso cappuccino. Ooh, that's good. That's really good. Okay, and I'm gonna play around with some recipes. So I'll, do, I'll come on here and do videos once in a while, um, just kind of as an experiment to see what flavors, what ideas, how can I can incorporate different things to make a recipe. 
I want to be able to make my um, chocolate almond milk shake and espresso. I want to be able to make things like that with my ice. So I'll put my espresso in there. But I'm going to make some recipes. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. But this is, this is really good. Oh, this is really good. And um, I love the froth. But I even have some flavorings that I can put, throw in there. So I'm going to experiment with recipes. But I have to tell you, I'm really impressed. And it's actually very easy to use. You just have to remember your coffee hopper up here. Um, don't clean it with water. Make sure that you keep this dry so it lasts you a long time. Then you have your power button. You, when you turn it on, it takes about two minutes to preheat the machine. The lights will flash until it's preheated. Once the lights are solid, it's ready to go. It has a hot water button here, which the steamer will heat up water for tea. So you can make tea, you don't have to have coffee. Um, then you have your single cup and your double cup. That decides you know, how much coffee is being pushed through. Now your grinder settings, they recommend stay in between eight and 10. And you have your filters, which is your single shot, your double shot. There is a maximum fill line. You want to make sure you have even distribution of your grinded coffee. Then you stamp it down nice and tight, okay? You want to stamp that good. If you don't stamp it enough, your gauge up here is not going to get up to the optimal level of the espresso, which is the, the green area. And so you want to stamp it down nice and, nice and tight, so it's nice and compact. And you have your pad here that holds all your components. You put your portafilter in the locked position. After you have your coffee in it, lock it in, pick your single, your double, there you go. And then it makes your coffee for you. Personally, I would take this off. I would dump it out, wipe it out, get it nice and clean, and then I would come over and do my milk. Make sure that you clean your milk wand with a warm, warm, warm rag after every use. They even have a little cleaning tool. I don't know if you can see this. It has a little spike on it, a little needle, so that you can get up here if you need to and poke in there and get that clean. So it does have that little cleaning. Keep that up here so you don't lose it. It has your little brush for cleaning out your hopper. It has your little measuring spoon. I mean, and then they also send you the extra grinder. I mean, how, I am so impressed. Um, and I, the thing I, I think I'm most impressed with is when I took it out of the box, first thing I thought of is this is not your normal home-based espresso machine. This actually feels like a, um, commercially made coffee house type coffee machine or espresso machine. This is from Casa Brews. This model is the 5700 Gents. Um, and I'm so thankful they sent it to me. I'm going to have this for a long time. And my husband's excited because now we're going to save a lot of money. Just think about it. Yes, these are an investment, but if you are someone like me that goes to the local coffee shop every day or twice a day at $6.95 for a drink, um, just think how quickly this pays for itself. And you get to make it as often as you want. You don't have to leave the house. I have a 15 minute drive to get to my local coffee shop. So I am very impressed. I have to clean my little milk container out here. But the milk container, when you're steaming it, you know you're done when you can't touch the outside of the container anymore. It's so hot you can't touch it. But uh, yeah, that's about it. And the, I noticed um, when I watched a few of the reviews, I use almond milk. Whole milk really froths up more. Um, your specialty milks like your oat milks and your almond milk, uh, coconut milk, they don't froth as much. But this frothed enough. I still have, look at my froth. I still have froth on top. So, oh my God, that is so good. I'm so excited. So be watching for more recipes coming up. Yes, this is a painting channel. Yes, you're going to see a lot of sewing videos in my, in, in my uh, video playlist down below. But one of my loves is coffee. And so I'm excited to try recipes. So you're gonna have to keep on watching. I'll have all the information down below on how to um, check these machines out, their website, everything. Like I said, I do not have an affiliate link. They did send me this coffee machine for me to review and try out. I'm trying it. If there was something that stood out to me that I felt was difficult or cumbersome, I would make sure that I said it. Um, and I'm impressed with it so far every step of the way. It was easy to set up, very self-explanatory, um, and all the components are shockingly, shockingly heavy and high-end. I'm, I'm very impressed. So, there you go. Casa Brews, so you gotta make sure you check them out. 
And um, me, as I feel like I'm a coffee connoisseur because I am obsessed with coffee, I live on coffee, I can't get through the day without coffee. So um, this actually really impressed me. I'm excited to try some new recipes. Every morning is gonna be the best part of my day. This, this the sound of this machine, uh, you know, turning on. Now, with any machine, if you, you know, if you've had a, a machine that has a grinder on it, you know, early in the morning, yes, they can be a little loud so, uh, when it's grinding the coffee. You don't want to wake people up. Skip the ground, uh, the ground step, and put in pre-ground coffee. It actually shows you um, your max line on here, and all you have to do is take your little measuring cup, put in your coffee grounds, spin it, tap it put it in and it's nice and quiet. Just a little tip for those of you who get up earlier than everybody else in the family. So I absolutely love this bit. I love, love this machine. I love it. And it's so pretty on my counter. <laughs> my other machine that has the pods, it got moved out into this, uh, my pantry. <laughs> so this is my new showpiece on my counter. So I'm very excited. I absolutely love it. And I cannot wait to start doing some recipes. And I definitely cannot wait to, uh, to work on some iced coffee drinks. Um, you know, mixing the two shots of espresso uh, with some almond milk and a little bit of cocoa, putting in a shaker. I got to go buy a shaker and making my um, chocolate almond milk shake and espresso. That's going to be my first drink I'm going to experiment with. So thanks, Casa Brews, and make sure you're checking out their information. You will not regret it. This is like the Mac Daddy of machines. Okay, well, this is Amy with AJ's Vintage Designs. Until next time, I hope you have a great day.